Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign. My name is Ben Pope. This is Total War Attila. Last episode, which was the first episode, we kind of just got off to a good running start and captured Rujun and um, upgraded a couple of things. And capturing this region gave us a port which allowed us to uh, start trade with a bunch of people. I think it's about nine nations. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Never mind, it's seven. Seven small, everybody's got one region. Small nations, but we're making some money because of that. And I think we really have to kind of pay attention on who we are going to um, attack next because uh, it might cause a chain reaction of some kind. So. I'm gonna a couple of a couple of turns. I'm just gonna sit and make sure my army uh, armies replenish, and hopefully, uh, possibly even upgrade something uh, as far as buildings. But we can't do very much because we don't have uh, growth to get like a sanitation building or something. Um, and I'm not even sure why this is. This has nothing that affects sanitation, so that's good. But this does. I think it's the... Place here, that's a, f a food. It's a farm, but it's for like... Animal... Growing. Um, duh -duh -duh -duh. So... Yeah, this is, this is giving me... Barbed skirmishers and crossbows, and that's good. If I was to convert this, I'd be able to do the pastures for, uh, you know, cows and horses and so on. Fields, more food. Also gets the barbed skirmishers. And this one will have us have ger dramatic mountain warband. The mounted war warband is pretty cool. So yeah, we just we just have to be kind of be careful. I don't want to uh, get the wrong person annoyed, and um, we might even. I think the plan, yeah, actually. Um, what's going on? The Danes want non aggression. That's fine. I think since I'm on this page, um, okay, he stopped talking. That's good. Um, I'm gonna. Probably raise a, a little small fleet so I can. Uh, this is desolate land, but going out here and maybe establishing some trade might be useful. Uh, I don't really plan on attacking Britannia anytime soon. I want to be able to make a better, uh, better foothold here. If I have to take on the Rugians, um, I will. But yeah. I don't know why they're condemning war with the Danes because I never had war with the Danes. Maybe that was like in the past something. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll take your two hundred coins for non-aggression and the Utes. I'll take your two hundred coins for non-aggression. Thank you. Looks like I befriended very good people here. They are somewhat related to the Burgundians, historically speaking. Um, Burgundians came from Scandinavia, crossed the waters uh, first. Uh, they stood on an island there, and then across the waters into Europe, and eventually did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so the the Geats and the Danes are fighting, so that's not good. <laughs> we'll see who wins there. The All right, you do not need to force march. I wish I could take this capital. Let's see. We, the, it starts out with us having military access and on aggression pact. So this will be kind of a cool plan to have, I think, the Germanus Sarmatia because it's kind of out of the way, although it might be 
prime land for other huns here in a little bit. We'll have to see. Technology is going. Uh, we could possibly update. We'll upgrade our port. Kind of want. I kind of want the military one there, but um, yeah, because you know, if I if I do get Gotin's Kanza, then I can put the trade there. Let's upgrade. Now let's wait another turn and upgrade this village, because that will just eat up some of our food, but it will get us more. Um, Growth and everything. And let's see if anything's happening for our Can we find you a wife? How do we? No hmm. Okay At um, any point you guys are watching this and you have a, a, a comment or a suggestion, please do make your suggestions. If you see my game looking a little different, uh, like the water, it's because I have a, uh, a mod that modifies the water. I also have a couple of camera mods which allow me to zoom in further and closer. And uh, more influential seasons, 12 turns per year. Uh, and I have them all in a collection that you can click on. The collection is in the description. And uh, there's a couple of mods in there that I'm not using, but I was I added, I added them to the collection because I thought they were very interesting. So let's read about the Lay of Ibor. This is a story a storyline that comes with uh, the northern tribes here. Um, a few of them. So the Lay of Ibor. In your splendid courts, a young warrior, Ibor, grows restless. His heart yearns for the winds, teeming with the great trials that earn a man repute. And he beseeches your permission to leave. Though his departure pains you, you know that he will return all stronger, shaped by the choices he makes in his wanderings. What parting gift do you bestow? Um, I, I think if he's a you know, if he's a young warrior and he's going out adventuring, um, a sword would, would be good. Uh, looks like it was a sword taken from a, from the grasp of a rival king. I could give him something that protects him. Uh, more of a spiritual gift here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the sword. He needs to defend himself. Alright, so we'll see how that story goes. Uh, we completed a village. Let's click on here and see what... I could upgrade that, but it'll give me squalor. Double our wealth. I really don't want to increase too much squalor until we get... Um, Sanitation sorted, so we're gonna upgrade that village and possibly Let's see what we can recruit. We can recruit Skirmishers, scattershot herders, barbed skirmishers that is A couple of pikes um, Let's wait a second because I think we Oh, we have to get this smithy. Okay, so we have to get this to get this. And then... Okay, here is where the, the spearmen, which replaced the levy, 
And then here's more unlocks somewhere. Where are you? Okay, so that that will give us better uh, horse units. All right, so let's do get a couple. Oh, let's not. This guy's in in range to support if somebody attacks us. Um, just want to peek at diplomacy. Still very friendly. Welcome. We will talk and then we will feast until our gut. Wonder if we I can get trade with the elements. But do not trap. Hey, angles. Sorry, I call them Allens. All right, so right skills. You are a general. And more ammunition sounds good, huh? Or I could do defense. What's the defense? For infantry. Maybe next time we'll get him ammunition. And Gunther is a governor, so what's this? Experience. We have to start with this, and we can give him we can give him the food or the construction cost. Hmm. Y yeah, let's. Shoot. We're okay on food. I think 129, that's fine for now. So let's give him the construction cost. Sweet. All the nations scrolling by. I wonder if the Danes and the Utes are gonna, or there's the Geats, one of them, whoever's fighting up there, if they're gonna call it a draw and get back to normal, or if they're gonna actually take each other out. Also, feel free to hit the like button and share out. Oh, look at that. I guess I reached a certain a certain point and I'm just not worthy now. I haven't really done anything since last time. Uh, yeah, please do hit the like button and share this video if you enjoy it and you think other people might enjoy it as well. It really helps out my channel. So, sword at his hip, Ivor strides into the lush forests with an air of youthful invincibility. Before too long, his progress is arrested by the cries of men and clash of steel. Bandits are hacking their way through a crowd of travelers. Through the dust and blood, he spots a famous poet attempting to shield a priestess of Godin. Who, who does he save? Okay, so the poet is shielding the priestess. Uh, and there's only ch choice to save the poet or the priestess. Um, can he go help the poet shield the priestess? And maybe both survive? Hmm. Um. I'm... I don't know. I think, I think he should try to help the poet save the priestess. Where's that button? <laughs> um, okay, so... Any, many, my name, mo. Uh, shoot. I normally you would try to save both, uh, but the priestess, you know, she's a she's a gal, she's a lady, she might be good looking, so let's attempt like we're saving both. But eventually, um, if the poet can't run as fast as the priestess, then you leave the poet behind. That, that's kind of my my thought here. Uh, we're gonna keep going with military because I think we're doing okay uh, Hopefully with the other stuff um, Yeah Eventually we'll, we'll probably get this next just to get 
the barb javelin min javelin min oh, I have an itch in my eye okay that's gone I kind of want to turn on these guys um how many t it's June how many turns did I go let's see I need to make sure that um uh, queen turn six we'll go to like turn ten. Uh, and then possibly turn on these guys because I think at that point it might not get that much of a penalty for um, for attacking your a dude that ha that you have non aggression with. You know that's kind of a problem. So um, I also have the mod made by Dresden, which adds all the diplomatic options when you play so uh, that's that's why this is here I can I can attempt to co what's it called us. confederate There's food enough. who else can I confederate with out here this this Thuringians I don't think any of these guys would be really useful maybe this guy would would um, My friend, join as soon as somebody gets attacked by the Huns, then they'll be like, oh, please help me. And I'll be like, okay. Unless I miss it, of course. And then, and then um, the only problem with that is that then the Huns would just feel like, hey, I, you know, you took the guy, you took out the guy that we were messing with, so we'll mess with you next. And then I'll cry in a corner and be like, no. So yes, the summers are long, the winters are strong. That's it's kind of the theme of this because of the um, 12 turns per year. You see it's July now. It, apparently it's already fall, like a harvest season I would say. Harvest season, look. Trade cards roaming about. The rivers look pretty cool. Uh, the water is a bit too uh, animated there, I think. But the better water, better water mod did a good job. All right, let's just peek at even even better. You know. I could almost wait a couple more turns and um, go grab some desolate land out here. That would be nice, huh? Uh, let's see if we can raise forces. Can we? Raise a fleet. Uh, Wolfgar is a marksman at 49 years old. One of these guys, I think this guy is our son. Or the, yeah, not our son, but you know, like the High King's. He's a family member. Uh, fierce warrior. Zoto. Hildefunds. 22 years old. Well, let's do that kid. Or let's do marksman. Um, Wolfhard. Let's make him. Let's make him uh, an admiral. Raise a fleet here. And he can recruit Germanic longbows, light marauders. Or it's a ramming ship, okay. Poor whole strength. Well, um, okay, let's not get any boats yet. Just because I want to make more money faster. <laughs> Mm. 
Right, we're actually close to... Um, any day now you'll start seeing um, games <coughs> from the Total War Community League. Um, a, a community set up by Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. Uh, it's a Total War community on Google+. Plus. They got together and said, let's play games against each other. So they made a league and it'll be kind of like a... Kind of like you not a football league, but similar, you know, where you, you, you play, you get points for winning, you get, you don't get points because you for losing, and, um, uh, what's it called? Ooh, that's all you can do. And, yeah, those games are going to start showing up on people's channels soon, and, uh, everybody that's involved, I think it's about... 12 people that are playing uh, and everybody that's involved will have a playlist that's what it's, that's what it's called a playlist containing the the games so um, yeah once people are gonna have games out it'll be uh, one versus one Everybody's gonna have them in a playlist, so you guys can go watch them all and um, kind of enjoy a bit of a friendly competition. Darkness gathers, and you can be the light for my people. I ask humbly for a treaty. Hmm. Eh, I was like, I was like, you know, if, if they don't accept, it's fine. Uh, it's like a hundred coins here and there. Doesn't do much good. Ooh, okay. In saving the priestess life and slaying the bandits, Ibor proved himself to be a manifestation of Godan, the god who holds life and death in one mighty palm. The priestess considers it her sacred duty to guide Ibor and enhance his destructive and healing powers by mystical means. However, unlike Godan, Ibor must choose just one path to thread, which will it be? Destruction or healing? Destruction by slaying the evil before it does harm. A healer will never be needed. Uh, yeah. Um, this is... Mm, I, for me, this is a tough situation because... If a man arrives at every location where evil is about to be done and um, gets rid of the evil, fine. But sometimes you arrive late and that's when you need the healing. So, you know, if, if evil kills stuff before you get there, um, then you can show up and just heal everyone back to normal and you're fine. So, <laughs> although I like destroying things, or destroying evil, you can destroy evil by healing what it destroyed. There, I just made, like, mind-blown comments. Sweet. Um, let's go for the military maneuvers. And we're gonna move our boat. We still have a wind. Oh, he's in Force March. I think this is the end of the uh, place, isn't it? Um. Yeah. It is kind of risky going up there, maybe, but I don't know. We'll see. Right, so next turn I'll see how much it costs with just him colonizing. Obviously, that's not very good. Uh, very good uh, price prices. Uh, they want an aggression and they want to give me money. Jeez. I'm expecting someone to, you know, stab me in the back soon enough, but... 
Uh, it's not looking like it. I wonder where all the armies of those Rugians are from Gotis Kanza. I'm sure that our ancestors have spoken and they have named you as true friends. Do we dare? Do I dare say no to 600 coin? In times like this, I think not. Oh. Ebor has returned. The sword at his side hangs unused, for his hands have granted more lives than they have taken. Men are not his foes. Instead, he grapples with the grasping fingers of death, rep repelling them with almost divinative authority. Enemies trembles when they recognize men slain the day before, fighting alongside the Lord. So it looks like I recruited an agent, a general in Rugian. Where is he? Is he like available? Yep. Holy cow. Alright, so. Says he's a fighter. He's got Godon's touch. Authority, cunning, zeal. Wow. Can we also, like, um. Replenishment because of the healing, get it? Can we also like make him um, a family member? Yeah, he's right here. Let's see, can we like, uh, what's the, the um, gather support, secure loyalty, assassinate them? Hmm. You will have to marry somebody, but we don't have any daughters, darn it. You gotta marry somebody, the heck? Search for a wife. Apparently there's a girl out there named Jebika. Um. Friends cost 15. Yeah, let's do something like that. Right. Next. All right, I was going to look at this. Your orders? 19,000. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Um Although I have 10,000. They only have like 42 men in this. Alright. So we're gonna go double time back home. It's winter anyway. And perhaps. We can take screams of the wind. Ooh, Germanic band can upgrade it. It's gonna cost a bit more, but war bands are so much better. Right. Can we recruit? Can I recruit war bands? Cool. Um, obviously, not the most exciting episode, but you know what? That's just life. Life isn't always gonna bring you scary movies or action packed drama. Life sometimes gives you heroic, you know, calm healers. Um, 
like Ibor here. And you know, he just goes around kind of like a master kung fu, Shaolin kung fu, like, you know, master. And he just goes, oh, just, you know, meditate. Rejection. Oh, jeez, he got rejected. Yeah, because like, I don't want to marry you, you're old and riggedy. Apparently he got rejected twice. Tutelage. Uh, this man has been taken under the wing of someone more experienced than himself. He will surely learn much. Good. How does that look like? Uh, oh my goodness. I just realized what I did. Like, um, this guy is younger. But he is a governor. And, you know, he's learning from... Gunther as uh, being a governor, so does that make any sense? I, I guess I could have had him learn from his dad. We'll see. We'll see how that works. We have twelve thousand. Uh, you know, you're screaming at me. You're like, oh my god, use the money. But I don't really want squalor, so. Um. Can we recruit? We can't recruit any agents, can we? No. Obviously, we don't have any buildings for agents. I want to see what these guys' armies are. Uh, and possibly... Take them down. They're ranked 12. I am ranked 6. Um, everybody's sort of happy. Here and there. Venetians, where are you guys? You guys are there. Right. Uh, I do want that desolate land up there. I know this was desolate and they grabbed it. So it's kind of worrisome. But if they do grab the land, I can just attack them. It'll be cheaper. Um... What was I looking for? Okay, so the Rugians, they're probably the friendliest towards me because of that military access. So it's kind of tough to decide what you want to do. I don't see any of their armies, so. Uh, we're gonna go over here. And possibly, For the tribe. yeah, let's just recruit. I'm gonna recruit some Germanic levies, and we're gonna recruit design. some. Uh, well, I can't recruit anything right now, but uh, next turn, I'm gonna recruit some boats. Uh, the names of these guys, Let, let's change the name, that's just too long. There we go, this button. So the scourges with the howling waves. How about just the howling waves? That's nice, right? Um, so the winds are screaming um, and the waves are howling. Not bad. Um, it is November. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else right now. I think we're just going to call it good for today. And next episode, we're going to probably uh, uh, actually do comment and let me know. Should I attack go to Skadza with the forces I have? Or should I go get a desolate land out there? Uh, go to Skadza, it's probably more dangerous but cheaper. So um, I will end the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I have rambled on for about half hour and I'm okay with that. I'll see you guys next time. Please do hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, share the video with others and come back for more fun times. Bye.